What is the kernel in isomorphism? Correct. That's all. So it's a trivial kernel because one-to-one -one correspondence is there. Only identity will be mapped to identity. And these problems, if you have a big group, we will get subgroups. Okay, subgroups of groups of order less than the group order. Now, if you have two groups, we can construct bigger groups. So that is by this process called a direct product. Suppose if you have G1 and G2 are two groups. Okay, G1 and G2 are two groups, let's say. Then G1 cross G2, I will call it as a direct product group. Now, what are the elements of this group? G1, G2 will have elements A1, A2 such that A1 is from G1 and A2 is from G2. All ordered pairs of this type will be elements of this direct product group. Okay, it is not sufficient if I tell this much. I should also tell you what is the composition of any two elements in the direct product group. So, if I take A1, A2, composition B1, B2, what is the result of this composition? That if I tell you, then you can verify whether it is a group or not. This composition is simply given by A1, A2, comma B1, B2. As I told you earlier, since we have two groups, the composition of this may be different. So use that composition to do this, use composition of G1 to do this, and then put them together as an ordered pair, and that is what is the result of this composition. Okay, what will be the identity? E1 comma E2 is the identity, correct? And A1, A2 is inverse is A1 inverse, A2 inverse. That's all. You know that it forms a group. So this is called a direct product group. Now, if I consider. See, when I say these are two groups, I can have G1 may have a composition, a circle, and G2 may have a composition, some star. These two, see, these two are two different groups, so sets may be different, compositions may also be different. Now, when I say I am composing these two, this has to be understood as a1 circle A2 comma B1 star B2. So use the respective composition of that group to compose the elements in that group. Sorry, sorry. A1, A1 circle B1 and A2 star B2. 2 is in G2, 1 is in G1. Thank you. I think this is A1 circle B1, A2 star B2. So, A1, B1 are in uh, A1, A2, A1, B1 are in G1, A2, B2 are in G2. Okay. This is the definition of a direct product group. Okay. Supposing if I construct H1 set of all elements A1 
kama e2 such that a1 is in g1 suppose if i construct a h1 is equal to a1 e2 ha huh? what is this group this group is actually g1 only right because every element this is only identity all elements where the second second group is identity second uh, coordinate is identity so is actually g1 correct but since i have written this in this language let me write g1 relabel it as h1 and then write it this way similarly i can write h2 as e1 comma a2 such that a2 is in g2 h1 h2 are like this if i define h1 and h2 are like this show that h1 and h2 are normal subgroups of the direct product group h1 and h2 are normal products of the direct product group i have actually using only those definitions that i have introduced yesterday importantly the normal subgroup definition invariant subgroup definition okay <coughs> the next is called semi direct product if we have two groups g1 and g2 okay so semi direct product so which let me call it as like this okay earlier symbol was circle okay this i am just calling it as box but this circle and uh, square i have the same topology so if you are little bit sleepy you may not differentiate okay so please keep this in mind I, this is a different symbol so g1 semi direct g2 as a set it is same set as direct product a1 comma a2 such that a1 in g1 and a2 in g2 as a set it is the same direct product as a set it is same as the direct product group but the difference is in the composition so the composition rule is the following for every a1 in g1 <laughs> we define an automorphism tau a1 from g2 to g2 so this automorphism has a label a1 that is with respect to a1 i will this uh, uh, this function will change but this function is from g2 to g2 so i define an automorphism and then the composition of a1 comma a2 b1 comma b2 is the following the first 
first coordinate is same as a1 b1 like in the direct product case the second coordinate is actually a2 tau a1 of b2 it's not a2 b2 but a2 and this b2 is mapped through an automorphism labeled by this a1 so a2 tau a1 of b2 okay this is the change in the this is the change in terms of the definition of the composition compared to the direct product now if you look at um, yesterday we have done a, a problem like this we had a matrix m theta x y as cos theta minus sin theta x sin theta cos theta y 0 0 1 we had a problem like this in that set of all matrices of this type okay can be written as so set of all matrices let me call this as e2 maybe sometimes we write it as e2 so this e2 can be written as so2 that is set of all matrices of this type okay that is rotations on a plane so yesterday i gave this example of rotations on a plane so2 as a compact continuous group and a semi direct product of so2 group with a translation group in two dimensions so2 semi direct product of translations in two dimension okay i do not know whether we should call it as t2 like this two dimension okay why this is a semi direct product because we have seen yesterday that when we when we write m of theta 1 x1 comma y1 so it is better to write this element as an r2 element so if i write this as a column vector x1 y1 theta x1 y1 into m of theta 2 x2 y2 and then compose them then what we got theta 1 plus theta 2 can somebody recall what is the next what is the column vector here column vector is x1 y1 plus r of theta that is rotation matrix of theta into x2 y2 so this is what we got we showed yesterday that this this multiplication is addition of these angles but this is not simply addition of this and this this is x1 y1 plus this is the automorphism r of theta multiplying this is like tau of x2 y2 okay so the second variable is not just like the first variable direct direct composition but here this plus a rotation of second and then addition of this so this is 
an example of a semi direct product of SO2 and translations in two dimensions. These are translations in two dimensions. Okay, so this is an example of a semi this is called a Euclidean group in two dimensions. And this is a rotation group in two dimension. This is a translation group in two dimension. So Euclidean group is a semi-direct product of rotation group and a translation group. Such that A1 is in G1 and H2 is equal to set of E1 comma A2 such that A2 is in G2. Now supposing if you look at the composition of these elements, so this is E, this is E. So what happens here? This is E and tau A1 of E, tau A1 of E will be E2, correct? So this is going to be A1, A2, correct? So this is, this is going to be uh, A1, B1, this will be only A2 is E, this is also E, so this is also going to be E only, correct? So you can, now if you come to this one, so this is E, this is E, so this is E, A2 into tau A1 of B2, okay? So this is E, okay? So you can argue here that, or for, for example, in this case, if you take if you if you consider theta equal to 0 that is